on Remsen Street after a win for the Terriers as they earn a season series split with the St. Francis Pennsylvania Red Flash and improved to 10 and 10 on the season four and four in the conference. Let's call this post game segment the long and short of it. We've got the center Dennis Chellen, the point guard Chauncey Hawkins. We'll start with you young Mr. Hawkins. Big second half. Yes sir. Uh, just a credit to my team. Always inspiring me, telling me to keep pushing, do better. I made sure that I got other guys involved because I know without them, we won't be able to go. So. All right, I'm switching hands here. Hang on one second. I'm trying to be ambidextrous. What made it so difficult for you in the first half? Well, it wasn't really that it was difficult. I was just trying to play the point guard role, you know, get everybody involved, because I feel like I can get my shot off at any time. So, and I'll just score whenever we need to. A point guard is someone who gets everybody involved, and I'm trying to make, a, make that a point during conference time. And when you get hot like you did in the second half, how's that feel? Uh, not to say I'm used to it, but in high school, like, I was finished the first half with one point and then I'll finish with 25 or something like that. So it's just, it's just good. I like, uh, it's like I'm saving the best for last, sort of. <laughs> and lastly, how important was it to avenge that loss to them two weeks ago at their place? That was a heartbreaker. It was a heartbreaker, especially because we came back, we were down, I think 11. We came back full hard and then, I mean, you gotta give, it's credit to them. Gaskins hit a very tough shot and I'm just glad we got this win on our home court. And indeed you did, protecting home 8-1 and one here on Remsen Street this season. Thank you, young man. Well, let's turn to the big fella, Dennis Chellen. I challenged you last week before the LIU game. I said, you need to show up tomorrow night and have your best game. You kind of did. Last night, leaving practice, what was our exchange? I said, you need to do it again, and you did. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to. I'm really happy that you expected something like big like that from me. Uh, I hope I made you proud of that. But yeah, it was a big game for all of us. We just lost to them. As Chauncey said, it was a bad loss like, at their place. And we just wanted to get back. Uh, we play, I think we played really good as a team, and it just worked out great. Yeah, now you guys coming off the win the other night against Robert Morris, by far your most complete game of the season. Obviously, St. Francis PA comes in with their big three, and they caused a little bit of trouble, not much in the first half, but in the second half, they really got going. Uh, yeah, like sometimes you just don't hit shots, but they have some like two or three guys who were still making shots in the first half. But as a team, they start playing better. But I think towards the really end, I think we really guarded. Uh, we got some stops, we got the rebounds, big free throws, me and my guy right here. So yeah, it was All right. good. And, and speaking of the rebounds, I know you were a little bit disappointed. You grabbed the box score out of my hands. You were looking for your double-double, but you finished with seven boards. I'm gonna bet you would trade those last three rebounds for the win today. Uh, I don't, no, I would, I would try to get the win at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to win. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's all. I want to win. And how important was it to avenge the loss to them? Yeah, it, it was, as I said, it was really bad loss. Like, I was really disappointed in that loss. Um, so I really wanted to get back at it. And we did a great job as a team. So, yeah. Congratulations, Dennis Chellen on the big game. Chauncey Hawkins, big second half. The two of them propel the Terriers to the victory. We're going to bring in your head coach. You guys have to go. We need a cane for these fellas. We need a cane for me. Typical NEC contest back and forth. A real nail biter up until the final minute and a half. Most of them all, Mark. You know, but I was proud of our guys. They hung in there. You know, we had the lead early. They took the lead at, at halftime, and we just kept battling. That's what it's about. You know, and, and St. Francis PA is a great team. Rob's a great guy, great coach. You know, they, they play really well. They're tremendously successful, so it's a great win for us. We talked about last night, you and I, about their big three, and the three of them really did have good games. Uh, it took a little while for uh, Blackman and Braxton to get going, but you were able to stem the tide. What uh, what'd you do on them that made the difference? I don't know if we did anything really. Dirty. We started hard hedging ball screens a little, but, you know, really good players. You know, we always tell our guys at halftime, you know, if they do a good job in the first half, don't think that what we were telling you isn't true. These guys are capable, and if you take a step back, they're going to they're gonna get you. So, you know, I didn't think we did that. They're just really good players. So, you know, we'll see. I think my guy Chucker was looking down on me tonight. It was 6-0 and oh on his day. Yeah, how about that? And you're now 4-4 four and four in conference this season, 10-10 ten and 10 overall, 8-1 and one here at home. Let's talk about that home record and protecting it against these guys who beat you in that heartbreaker two weeks yeah, ago. That, that was a tough one. The one at PA was really tough, but that's college basketball. It happens. And the good thing is my, my team's shown character, not letting that really affect them and, and actually playing better since. So I'm proud of them for that. Um, 
you know, records, forget about that. We're just trying to get better right now. We're not worried about records. We're not worried about anything but getting better every day and trying to improve over the next six, seven weeks, whatever it is. And lastly, uh, from your perspective, how good is it to see after a bit of a sluggish start in the first half for Chauncey, Hawkins comes out and catches fire like we've seen him do so many times in the second half? Well, I actually think, you know, he had a foul in the first half, and, and we need him down the stretch of games. So I, I probably left him out a little bit longer than I should have. But in the end, it might have benefited us because he had a lot of juice in the second half. He had a lot of energy, and he had his legs. And I also think that when he doesn't force shots early and lets the game come to him, he just seems to explode in the second half and play great. So I, I think that's a, a matter of maturing as a point guard and, and learning to let the game come, t come to you. And then when you get your spots and we need you, you do what you got to do. And his assist to turnover ratio has improved throughout the year. And he's really led us to some great wins. All righty, Coach, congratulations on the win. 86-79, the Terriers take this one. We'll come back and wrap it up upstairs right after this on the Terrier Sports Network, powered by NEC Front Row.